Hey, what's up YouTube? This is CBR Tech Reviews here. And today, I want to talk about my eight day in with the Huawei Mate 20X. What I really wanna focus on today is the charging and the battery life on this device. So I've been using this as my main daily driver on this device with AT&T for the full entire eight days. What I have noticed on this device on the battery life is it really fluctuates um, about the on screen time, the screen on time. The first few days I had, I was getting anywhere from six to seven hours of screen on time, which to me, I thought it would have been better than that because this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I have phones such as my Pixel 3 XL that gets more than this device with a smaller battery life. I mean, the battery life on this is 5,000 milliamp hours, but we also have to... Uh, count in that this is a 7.2 inch display OLED display now the test that I've done uh, with this device for the first five days I used the charger that it actually came with the supercharger by Huawei with an international adapter to plug in because I am in the US so the question for you guys is what is the battery life on your device and how much screen on time do you guys get? So I want to show you here. Say, actually, I'll just go straight to phone manager. I am at 65% remaining with 9 hours 14 minutes. Now, I also have darkened interface colors and all that good stuff on to help with the battery life. Let's see, my battery usage today, here is what I mainly do with my device. I usually get on YouTube, I play poker to kill time when I'm bored at work. Um, I search the web, use Hangouts. These are all the things that I use throughout the day. Nothing crazy. The only games I really played today was a couple games of poker, which I suck at because I never win. I swear them people always take my money, and then when I get enough chips, they put me in a room that bet 1 million, 2 million chips, so I'm always over here losing, buying chips, so I give up. I ain't playing you no more. Or if I do play you, I'm playing you on free chips. But anyways, the screen all time, I've got 4 hours, 1 minute, and 15 seconds. So far, at 65% remaining. Sell standby time, this thing has been off the charger for over 10 hours with less than 1 second searching for service. Because I am in a good service location. And I always have my Wi-Fi on. But anyways... What I've done for the first five days was use the supercharger that came in the box because that's what Huawei included in the box. So I, I'm like, well, that's the phone charger they gave me in the box. So that must be the charger that this phone will work good with and keep my battery at a good health. Needless to say, do I really need supercharging? Because I only charge this thing at night. And by, let's say I go to bed around 11, 11.30, 12 o'clock. By 2 o'clock, this thing's fully charged. If I am not awake at 2 o'clock, I just, you know, it's still on the charger when I get up at 7. So, the question is, does the supercharger affect battery life on this device? Or is it better to slow charge this than supercharge this? So for the last two days, 
I have not used the supercharger that came in through the device. I use my Google Pixel charger that came with my Google Pixel 3. And this is what it says when I plug it up. It's not supercharged, but it's quick charge, 64%. So I've used this on quick charge. I've used this on quick charge for the last two days and I have been getting better battery life using quick charge than using supercharge. Now, is that a coincidence or is it really better for the battery health of this device using quick charge than supercharge? Because you really have to think, is supercharging your phone now, since it's supercharging my phone, does that mean that I will lose more energy using the supercharger? I don't know. But I'm going to continue using the quick charge, which is slower by just a hair, and see how the battery life on this device goes. Now, I am at 64%. It is at 3, it's about 3 o'clock now, but... If I normally use the supercharger and unplug it at 2 a.m., when I wake up at 7 a.m., my phone will usually be at 97, 98% when I wake up. So it loses about 2% from the time that I unplug it to the time I wake up. But the last couple mornings when I quick charged it, I unplugged it around 3 a.m. When I woke up at 7 to 7.30 a.m., I had 100% remaining on my battery. So there is no battery drain from the time that I unplugged it using the quick charge compared to the supercharge. And also, I've noticed that my percentage does not drop as fast when I use the quick charge compared to the supercharge. But anyways, everybody's battery life and screen on time will be different. So if you own one of these and you have another fast charge plug, try it. See if that helps. Anyways, that's what I wanted to make a video about today. If you have any questions about this phone or you have anything about phones in general, network, service, um, compatibility, whatnot, give me a shout. As you can see here, I'm not just a tech YouTuber. I sell phones, so I deal with a lot of phones, a lot of carriers, not just Samsung, not just iPhone, but a lot of phones. Anyways, it's your boy, CBR Tech Reviews. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.